Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Knot Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer starts the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Never easy going to bed with the lead, and they're out here today. It's probably weighing on them a little bit. I gotta say, though, this player has been playing well. That's why they have the lead. So they have to be excited, and they have to like their chances going to this final round. Let's get down to the action. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Oh, well done. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. A seven footer right here. That's pretty tidy. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. A quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first place with Xander Shoffley in second. Time to tee off at the second. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. around 110 yards to go up the hill to an elevated green they're gonna need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back to this pin a yeah, quality shot that always love these opportunities especially when it's for birdie Big putt for par coming up. And well hold. Let's move on. And now that finds him in first place. Teeing off here at the third hole. Well played, mate. Playing up to an elevated green here. Opting for the three wood. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. Okay, steady now. No, that's too bad. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. 
And after that hole, this player currently holds top spot on the leaderboard with Xander Shoffley in second. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Second shot here on the fourth. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yep. He's putting Rosie's nosy out of joint with that one. That was an incredible approach. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Left yourself an opportunity. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Oh, so close. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Leading by six strokes after that one. Now on the tee of a long par four. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. And choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. This really looks good. Just didn't drop. A par putt on the table. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Look with water down the right hand side. Most players are going to be taking a driver out and bailing down the left hand side. Maybe something less to avoid that fairway bunker down there. Still a fairly generous fairway from there. Second shot plays downhill. Oh, about a half a club. Generous size green. Bunkers kind of dotting all sides of it, but not overly difficult. I think you can see a fair amount of birdies here. And he's down there. Yeah, he's got a round 125 here.
Uh oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. A bit short with that effort. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That is a working man's par. 11 feet to the cup. This is important. Big par putt here. Go on. Get in the hole. Well done. Currently in first position. We have a par three on this one. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, that's beautifully judged. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. We've arrived at a par five. Second shot here on the ninth hole. And it might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Just 10 feet to the cup here. This is on a great line. Oh, well home for Eagle. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Could be some trying times indeed. Tough holes lay ahead, but yes, you're in the position that you want to be ahead of the pack. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. This hole is so gettable. They're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished. The bed. Playing to an elevated green here. Let's see if they've got the right club. Looks to be going with the five iron. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. It was going to take two mighty lashes to get there. However, they've left themselves in prime position. And here we are with the third shot. What a shot. Oh, went from the outhouse to the penthouse with that chip in. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip. Leader now enjoying a nine stroke lead.
Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. That dog will hunt. Time for the second shot at the 11th. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This one will run uphill. This one has eyes for the hole. A well holes. He'll take the birdie. Well, that's a phenomenal performance. The lead is now out to 10 shots. Incredible. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And with that hole behind them, this player currently holds down top spot on the leaderboard, and Xander Shoffley is second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. That should find the fairway. And this shot from about 150 yards out. One extra club required to this elevated green. Going with the eight iron here. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, almost went in. That was exactly what the doctor ordered. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Well, oh, that was pure. This shot from around 210 yards. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Yeah, going for it in two, okay. He wants to win. You liked that, didn't you? 14 feet to the cup. Putting for eagle, that always sounds good. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. That's inside the range. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action.
now on the tee after a birdie fired up and ready for more Second shot here on the 15th. Going with the pitching wedge here. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. And after that hole, this player is ahead by a whopping 10 strokes. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Like it came out of a cannon. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdies all over that scorecard. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This putt coming up is for birdie. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, sensational putt, that one. A big play at the right time. And their rival is now shaking in their boots. And it's time to recap that play. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. leader is really starting to gap the field now they're 10 strokes ahead two holes to go Luke can they hang on we have a par three on this one opting for the hybrid I think That was a beauty and a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, good look at Birdie here. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. That tee shot looks pretty good. From around 220 yards. Going with a three wood here. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. 
Let's see. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Air mailed the green with that approach. The equation's pretty simple. Chip this in and win the tournament. Oh, I thought that one was going in. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Love. And in it goes. Victory for our player. What a performance. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Moments like that deserve another look. And Henny, that was some impressive play. To take down a rival of that calibre and to win the event, what a performance. Yes, Luke, we doubted them, but they got the job done and they took down their hero. The rivalry is theirs and theirs alone. And they can boast about this on social media for, well, weeks now. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.